This is your last song. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm excited for you. I'm excited too. This is my first fairy set too. Uh huh. you guys so uh, we was live on instagram but baby they shut me down so we're bringing it to youtube especially because uploading my video didn't work out how i thought it was going so we are doing a square cherry theme set we're going to be doing some cherry nail art and some bling i hope my um <laughs> My friend, I hope her hairstylist showed up. Hopefully. Because I'm not even going to lie. Um, her last experience wasn't that good. And this is her this is her normal, you know, like, um, braider. Mm -hmm. Her last experience at the place that she was located wasn't the best. Now she's at a new place, so she's hoping, like, okay, things are going to go good. And now. Um, yeah, I already started off wrong. Yeah, so I'm just like, she's going to be like, I want to find a new braider. Which sucks because it's like, yeah. Yeah. You gotta be like that sometimes. Yeah. 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 So I'm just evening them out because when I cut these, like, she still had a good amount of, like, cuticle skin. So, like, measuring them it can make it a little uneven. So. So are you packed? Yeah, no. I don't know. You're gonna be packing after this. You better be. Yeah. Cause I'm a new Aaron Tarantino and I got that out the way yesterday. So. Did you have to like get all your like small size stuff? Yes. So I went and did that. Um, there's some like little like little stuff I needed. Uh huh. And that was really it. Okay. Yeah, you better get to packing. You know the outfit you're gonna bring though? No. Oh. <laughs> like when I tell you like I'm gonna be doing that all day today and figuring out what I'm gonna do. Is your laundry done at least? Yes. Okay. I was about to say, not you having to pack, do laundry in. Mm -mm. Do it all with a seven AM flight. I've had to do that before, and that was a not okay. I was like, never again. Right. I be trying to clean my whole room, so when I come back, get off the plane, take a shower, and get naked. Yep. With no nothing to do. <laughs> I remember one time we had went somewhere. Mm -hmm. I was like a teenager, and so you know, my mom made us clean the whole kitchen, whatever. Why did I eat a snack before we left? And I didn't realize I didn't put it in the sink. So when we came back, the little bowl had ants on it. Uh -uh. My mom was hella mad. She was like, I told you. Make sure it's clean. I was like, oh my, I did not know. It was so nasty. It was just on that one bowl. Mm -hmm. So I was like, damn, I don't know how long it took before they even got there because they were not nowhere else. But yeah. I was like, damn. That was crazy. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh, uh. And I learned my lesson. Never again. Never again. I'm like, you know what? I could eat a snack at the airport. <laughs> at, that, at this point. No, for real. I'll pay the little extra if I have no, to. No, right? Exactly. They just be like, why do you put lunches in the airport? Girl, because they can. Yeah. They're like, somebody gonna pay. It, like, if you, when we touch out of LA. Oh my god. <laughs> They're so expensive in there. Mm -hmm. We've only two select items, too. All right. Yeah, they're here. Yeah, uh, okay. So we are going to put her. 
with Young Nails Protein Bond because I'm a Young Nails girl. And we're going to do two coats because that's what Young Nails say to do. You don't need to drown the nails. You don't need to dip every single nail. Literally just get it to be wet. And that will keep you from wasting so much product. Players. I watched the first season, but I don't have stars, so I can't watch the second season. I'm kind of mad because Amazon had had it for mm -hmm. like a hot second. Barely just Amazon, so I binge watched it. So, 10 out of 10. Season 2 is so good. Do you like it more than season 1? Yeah. Especially with one of the uh, actors. He did a really good job of playing the role. Okay. Yeah, people always like. What's up, Deshay? I was like, girl, not, uh, not, what's that one name? Little Murder. Mm hmm. I said, I was not surprised. It gave that. It was though. given, it was given down low. Yeah. Uh, so not polished, milky white. That's what we're going to be using. Because it's going to be milky enough that it's not coke white, but also still like bright enough that it's going to cover these little parts of pink. No, no matter, you don't get an easy now, It's the fact that his friends were talking about him. I thought that was a one-time thing. No. One-time thing does not happen around here. No, I'm sorry. It's not just a one-time thing. I mean, that's not, to me personally, that's, you want that. But you're not going to just try it one time and then keep hanging around the same person that you just yeah, no. try it with and you keep sneaking off. Like, come on. It was when he did off the Clifford's um, car. I was like, oh, yeah. 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 It was giving romance. Yeah. It was giving romance. It was giving, I like. Yeah, I like you. I want to be with you. Uh, I wish I could tell you what's going on season two. Uh, I don't know. I'm but I don't want to spoil for nobody, it. especially in the, that's in the lag, because then, no. Right. She said, is it going to be cherry nail art or cherry charms? Um, she said she want mainly nail art mm -hmm. with a little bit of bling. Which I agree with. Like, I like the cherry charms, but I feel like nail art is better. When it's already the nail art, I don't know. I um, like nail art more than, like, charms. Yes, this this I have figured out. We were just talking about that yesterday. Mm -hmm. She's had already two nail art type sets. But I think this will be the most. No, the last set was definitely a lot of nail art. Yes, that was a lot of nail art. She had um, a pride set. That was hearts and rainbows and clouds and just like all of the above. It was very cute. Mm -hmm. I got so many compliments. Yes. Super cute. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do our application. Girl, did your hairstylist show up? I hope she did. <laughs> that reminds me of that whole lashes thing I had happen to me. Yeah. That was crazy. Are you going to get your lashes in? Oh, I forgot to ask. <sighs> I don't think Journey. so. Only because the last time I got them done, like, I don't know if it was because it was very hot outside. But my eyes were just like really like burning. I was like, mm, no. So, like, you think I'm just gonna take a break? Mm -hmm. You feel like it was that tech, maybe her glue, or do you really feel like it was just because you're outside too much? No, it could be a mix of both, honestly. Because the nail tech, I mean, not the nail tech, the lash tech I used to go to, she was she was in Long Beach now. Oh, oh, are yeah. you gonna go like get them done out there? Uh, you gonna yeah. try and see? We'll see. Because, like, even now, like, even when it's, like, very hot, because I have sensitive eyes. Oh, okay. Like, it can start burning out of nowhere. I like, feel that. watering up. Yeah. No, that definitely happens to me when I get mine done. And I'm just like, oh, so is this the universal experience that people just leave out? Yeah, or, like, I hate, like, the feeling that I need to itch my eye, and I don't want my lashes to be falling out. Girl, I'll be like, 
<laughs> yeah. Spongebob Oh, she says she's in the chair now. Oh, that's good. Yeah, girl, because... I hope it's a good experience. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, because she be waking, she be getting to her home hella early, like, at least sometimes up to an hour early. I will too. Because, well, because, because she, she takes a light rail and stuff, so she that makes sense. Like to make sure. On time. Mm -hmm. She's like, you know how to bust light rail do. Mm -hmm. When I used to live in San Francisco for college, sometimes like I would like make sure I was like there like start leaving an hour earlier than before mm -hmm. because sometimes the buses they all like see you just walking 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 up like they know you want to fly by mm -hmm. That's so Pray for you, girl. On your jumbo knotless. <laughs> or your large knotless, I guess I should say. Would you ever grow your hair out again? Or are you like just gonna be short hair for life? Short hair for life for right now, but I have thought about getting locks done, but like when I get like pregnant, so I don't have to with my hair. Oh, that's a good thing. Yeah. Like... Would you cut it after? No, I probably keep them because I'm the type where like, if I'm going to commit to something, I'm going to commit to it the long way. Mm -hmm. Like, if I really want locks, I'm going to get them done and keep them because I committed to that already. Mm -hmm. So like, I don't know, I'm in so much in the stage of cutting my hair off and liking how short it is on me. Mm -hmm. Or like, getting like different colors and everything like that. Yeah, yeah so, I definitely feel like the haircut suits you. Yeah, it does. Like you have a good type of head for it. Like yeah, I have a really good round head. Yeah, yeah, there's not no, it's not like too big either. Too, it's like it's like perfect. Mm, yeah, yeah. Like there's not no weird indents. No like mm -mm, no extra like lumps and nothing. Girl, like you know how some people they got. They got extra, they got like little lumps. Yes. Like they got like a little, like you can see like their brain. Basically, like, like the little lumps. All the wrinkles. And like, yeah. I see somebody get a haircut and his whole head was just lumpy. Yes, and the way he had to try and stretch his head to like get in between the lumps, I was like, I honestly, I don't need a haircut that bad. Like, no, for real. I'm gonna just keep it to at about a four. I remember one of my friends. She's like, I want to get my hair done so bad, like cut it. And I'm like, you should. She's like, but my hair, like I have so much extra skin and like it's so lumpy. I'm like, oh, never no, mind. right, no, you shouldn't. Because I remember she got like a, she got like a frontal done, and mm. she like the lady who she went to, she did a really good job. She did really good work, but it's the way how she sewed it in the back, it like lumped, like made them already lumpy but even tighter. So she already had the lumpy head, but it was like worse. <laughs> wow. And so she was like, my head hurts really bad, and we looked. I was like, do you need to take it out? It hurts that bad. She's like, I think I do. So we were going ahead and taking it out. And we were like, your like, scalp is basically like sewn together. Like, that's how bad it was. Yeah. Yeah. My mom told me, like, when I was young, she's like, she would do my hair. I got like a wrinkle on my scalp. So, like, when she'll part my hair, it's like, it wouldn't be like exactly perfectly flat. It wasn't like hella, hella wrinkle. But she was like, if you looked hard enough, you could see, like, yeah. So she's like, I don't know about you being bald head, like for real. I had a short haircut, but I wasn't like all the way down to the scalp. Mm -hmm. bald. I thought about like going all the way down to the scalp bald, like for real, for real. But I said, child, I don't know. <laughs> you better do a I test lot. Like, make sure you don't got lumps. Right. And I'm like, I don't want to be a Caillou. I really stop. Not a Caillou. I mean, it could be a look. I mean, with the glasses and. Like, I need to get, like, there's these certain glasses that really look good, like, with, like, women, like, that have, like, my head shape mm -hmm. and, like, my short haircut. I gotta get some so bad. I'll probably get it, like, once I get back. Because mm -hmm. I change my glasses safely. I'm not one of those who will, like, wait years, you know. Because are yours actual prescription? Yeah. Okay. I can't see for real. Damn. Like, I can see for, like, far, like, far away, I can't see. Okay. Or, like... If I'll take off my glasses and like let's say like the sign that's like near the thing, uh huh, it would be a little bit hard to read, but I can see it. Okay. So it's so, like one of those. Got it. 
you're not like deathly blind, but like blind enough that you shouldn't be operating machinery. Yeah. <laughs> like I could be okay with forgetting my glasses for a day. <laughs> you know what's funny? The same client that um, she's waiting for her stylist. Mm -hmm. She thought she lost her glasses for real, and I was telling her like I know they're probably in the house. And so she had to like order new ones, but she's really blind, like. Mm -hmm. And she was like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't have no backup. So she had to call. have no contacts or anything? No. And so she had called Kaiser and was like, I lost my glasses. They was like, okay, we can get you an appointment four to six weeks. And she's like, you don't mm -hmm. understand. I cannot see. Like, them I'm eye blind. That's what I have tried to see. Them eye appointments be a lot. Like, I literally have an eye appointment that Monday after I come back. Mm -hmm. I probably booked that appointment the beginning of June. Hey. Yeah, she was like, she was like, I'm blind, I can't see. So what I was she able to rush her. Is, I don't know if she's in this live. What you could do is, girl, if you order like your glasses like off of like a website that, um, like Zenu Optical, any of those type of places, they save your prescription nine times out of ten, and it's cheaper for your glasses. And once that happens, like if you ever need to like get it glasses again because you lost them you literally could go in there get the same prescription same type of glass style and everything they're gonna see oh that's right mm -hmm. yeah she she ended up finding them in the shoe box oh my god and i was like that's different what what was they doing there i'm trying to figure out i was thinking like oh i don't know but yeah and then the glasses that she ordered she still had Got, and I guess it was like she got them for like free or something too because it was like she was actually like due mm -hmm. or whatever. And so she she got the one that turned to sunglasses when he was outside. I said, okay. okay. She's like, yeah, them finna become my regular mains. I said, good. yeah, you need both because the way you just lost yours in a shoebox. Yeah, like I have to get the whole blue lighting setting for my glasses and everything. Dang, not blue lighting. Mm -hmm. Should be for the UV rays. That's yeah, all. because like my eyes will get tired real quick if I don't have like, let's say I'm not wearing glasses, but I'm wearing contacts, right? Mm -hmm. If I'm staring at a screen for a long time because like I'm at work and I'm on the computer a lot, my eyes will get really tired. So it's like sometimes I have to go take a walk and let my eyes breathe Facts. and then I come back. Facts. Yeah. See, I, ha I have glasses. I don't wear them all the time, mm -hmm. but because I just ha I have astigmatism, so glasses Me don't too. really. Yeah. You know, like I can see, but they don't really, they don't really help that much. Yeah, it's like the whatever eye that doesn't have the stigmatism, it kind of like helps balance it out. Yeah, see, both of my eyes have a stigmatism. Oh. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, I just gave up on wearing glasses, even though, unless I'm like reading. Yeah. Like reading, otherwise my shit, because it's like I have to like consciously focus my shit. Mm -hmm. I'll just be like, oh, god damn. Yeah. Or like, like you said, on the computer for how long? But, yeah. Ooh, this is gonna be cute. Okay, what's up, everybody who joined? I didn't realize more people came in. We over here talking about prescriptions and glasses. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, you want to show? This is um, on YouTube. You want to show them the picture? Yeah. Her inspo. This is what made her decide she want to get a cherry set. And we're gonna hook it up. We're gonna make it look better than the picture. Cause that's just what we do. Oh, yep okay see this is the inspo but she wanted a lot of art and a little bit of bling mm -hmm. so it's gonna be a vlog it's gonna give them um, you know it's gonna be giving off what it needs to give off yeah yeah, I have like a stigmatism in my left eye. Mm -hmm. So like whenever they touch that eye, I'm like, listen, I'm not going to be able to see well. I'll just tell you that right now. Right. I hate when they do like the uh, lens one or lens two right. or exactly the same. I'm like, can we do it again? Right. But I've had the same prescription. Like my eyes have never changed or gotten worse mm -hmm. for a very long time. So that's the good part. Yeah. I Honestly, I haven't been touching in so long. Mm -hmm. But when it's like time for glasses, I just take the same prescription. I probably should go get my eyes checked because my dad, he wears glasses. He is blind. So these are so pretty. I already know you're about to do your thing, Peaches. Thanks, Duche. He's like hella blind. My mom, 
she have astigmatism and now she wears bifocals. Ooh. And both of my uncles wear contacts, so I just I feel like I don't want to say I've accepted my fate, but like <laughs> I don't know. I mean, whenever you're ready to like go get them checked out, yeah. If you feel like okay, I need to get them right. Checked out. I just feel like on the day to day, I don't feel like my vision has been getting worse or anything. Mm -hmm. So I was like, yeah. Cause trust me, you would know. Right? No, for real. It's like, ooh, that looks a little bit more blurry right. than usual. Right. <laughs> All right, y'all. We're getting there. So her appointment was at 9. I don't know what time it is right now, but this is the second time we've tried to go live today. It is 9.53. Okay, 9.53. There you go. So I'm just making sure I'm tucking everything really nicely because of how her skin sits. When I go file, it's going to like push back her skin a little bit more. She said, girl, I was doomed at birth because both of my glasses were glasses. I mean, both my parents were glasses. Yes, they do. Um, yeah, I get my um, bad eyesight from my grandfather. Like, out of all of his grandchildren, I'm the one who looks just like him like with the glasses and everything. And mm -hmm. I'm, I'm the only one that got like the problem with eyes. Yeah. Yeah, like he had glaucoma. So oh, like yes. my dad, he doesn't have to wear glasses constantly. He has to just wear reading glasses. But he has to go get his eyes checked a little bit more because he does have slight glaucoma. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like they like you have glaucoma, they check you out even more a little bit because of the fact that you know if you don't take a certain eye drops like every day, you could go blind like for real. Right. You got cataracts and stuff. Right? Yep. That's scary. Man, I'm not even gonna lie, that clouding haze of That's like scary. I could never. My even just getting eye surgery, like I'm scared because it's like, well technically my eyes open. So like no. I oh, know. With the lacing and stuff. And then I've like heard little things about like some people like experiencing like extreme dryness and like because you know with the LASIK it's peeling away a part of your cornea. Mm-hmm. And to me that just creeps me out. And I'm like, you know what? I don't even like seeing the actual eye. Like, somebody take a picture. Yeah. I don't like seeing that. I don't like seeing inside the eye. It's weird. No. Mm -mm. Yeah, I don't like seeing the nerves, the retina. No. I'm cool. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, like, my eyes are, like, so sensitive. Man. Like, I remember when one time, one summer, I got ice cream. Oh, my God. Hated oh. it. Is she literally, using them too much? It literally was from at the time. I was like, okay, I wear my glasses in the daytime and evening time when I'm at night chilling. No, I'm not going to wear my glasses. Looking at my screen too much. Damn. Yep. My eyes were so sore and dry. and yeah, it was Not dry. dry. Yeah. I remember I had to go to... A regular optometrist, then I went to like a special specialist to make sure I was like okay. Mm -hmm. And they were like, Yeah, you're fine, you're good. It's just you just have to be more careful with that. You have to wear your glasses. If you're gonna be at night and you're looking at screen with no light, wear your glasses. Right. She says she didn't know glaucoma could cause a, like eye problems like mm -hmm. that. Yep, you can go blind if you don't take care of uh, the situation like right then and there and regularly you don't take the eye drops for those eye drops for a good like week yeah you're susceptible <laughs> i don't even think i would be chancing it for a week no i wouldn't i would like, do it every day uh, i would have exactly. a reminder on my phone be like take the eye drops right it's gonna be right right there waiting next to my toothbrush mm -hmm. good heck no okay I haven't heard this song in such a this, long time. Uh, when this song came out, I was like... Yeah, I mean, it's so cool. Yeah. I say, yo, ladies. Yeah. I'm gonna get your hands on. Oh. Oh, this music video, too. I remember this. <laughs> <laughs> I say, yo, ladies. It's like... Okay. So, as you guys can see, I'm just making sure everything is nice and tucked. It's like how I laid the, how I went about this nail to make sure that little pink was covered. I, it wasn't like necessarily the best, so we'll just make sure it's all fixed later. But Ooh, it's 
Oh, that's where how old I was when she made me do it. I don't know. I don't know how I did. Mm -hmm. Just seeing, just seeing the song, not knowing. Mm -hmm. I know I know better. Exactly. Okay. Okay, we're gonna leave it like this for now. Other hand application. Oh, sorry, that wasn't white on my nails. Okay. For anybody wondering, this is a size 18 brush. That wasn't the best speed, but <laughs> we don't want to go to waste. So. I love me some diamond painting. I know. I was listening to them a lot when I was. Great. Here, let me. I can clean it up for you. Wonderful. It's like I never can say anything. I just. Just the deep sigh. You just gotta pray every time. Man. Oh my gosh. It's like how? Every day. How do I manage to knock my liquid out? Like, not even just a little bit, the whole damn jar. Like, yeah. Okay, whatever. Yes, the yellow is the best. My client, she brought me three of them yesterday. Really? Yes. Have you tried like the apricot one? Mm, yeah, that one's okay. Oh, wait, no, the new one, the strawberry apricot? Mm -hmm. No, I have not. It's okay. I wanted to the other day, but I was like, I yeah, haven't drank red wine Yeah, yellow is the best from top. I'm sorry, you guys. I was normally don't be trying to do this like nails in this many small beads, but I kind of messed up, so and I'm just fixing stuff. Someone actually had booked for a 6 a.m. before, Ooh, but they didn't child. show up. They did not show up. Yeah, because they knew. They knew. Yeah. Actually, somebody had texted me the night before to show up. I just booked at 6 a.m., but I'll be honest, I'm, <laughs> I made a mistake. But the earliest that someone's actually shown up to an appointment would be 7 a.m. I remember one girl, she had a 7 a.m. And I was kind of mad because 
she she booked a fill, but she showed up with no nails. And so, so yeah, <laughs> and so she had a seven a.m. She's like, oh yeah, I was just thinking I could just get a um, you know, full set. I'm like, honestly, no. So you can't because you're not booked for that long. I'm not gonna be able to do. You. I was like, unless you literally do like a short clear set to the tip of your finger, barely done. Yeah. So I was like, oh, and mind you, her trip. She's supposed to leave later on that day or like the next day for a trip. Of oh, course, she never booked it. again. But I was like, that ain't my fault. Like you decide. She's like, yeah, I just decided to take them off so we can just start over. I'm like, that is not how that you works. You should have rescheduled or changed your thing if you were gonna decide to take them off. Because it's like then the people who are booked after, you know. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do it. Yeah. <laughs> but I feel like I am pretty lenient. Like if I can mix it up or you know adjust up or like, you know whatever. Mm-hmm. If you let me know, cool. But if you just show up, like all my days already set in stone. Yeah, like, like you already know. I can't. I, mean, I can't give you that wiggle room. <laughs> I got people back to back. Yeah, she's not coming out with a new album, no time soon. You're gonna be in kindergarten. <laughs> By the time we get out Yeah. Give it, give it five more years, y'all. That's why she said, like, she doesn't need to. Need so to if I don't it. need to, why do it? Damn near. That's the same thing with Nicki Minaj. Like, you don't see her come out, like, as frequent as she used to. To 07 Menard. Man. do make sure like you know use as much beat as possible see i don't have like a lot of waste on my paper towel it's a lot of liquid yeah but it ain't a lot of like acrylic so you know get your beads together so that way you can get to the point to where you're not taking nothing off but the excess you know i'm on one Left, what do you say? Right cheek, left arm, left cheek. Whatever the hell. Drake and Future combo. They are. No, they put out their album. Yeah. I still listen to that shit. That was a good album. It sure was. How do you feel about Drake's newest album? I actually like it. I don't know what, like, what so far people ask me. I feel like, okay, yeah, there's some songs that might sound different than what's used to, but honestly, not that far off. I was say, like, are you into, like, the house music type of vibes? Yeah, I really don't mind it. And there's only a couple songs that are like that. Like, there's, like, half the album that's not. Yeah. I feel like some songs remind me of, like, So Far Gone stuff. But then again, I have to remember, like, how many people listen to that stuff like? Oh, So Far Gone is my favorite. Like, he has songs on there that's, like, complete, like, pop. Like, yeah. you don't sound like that. So that's why I'm just, like. My favorite, 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 favorite album by him is nothing was ever the same mm-hmm. yeah, that, one was that was a vibe mm-hmm. i actually liked it though because like i like house music so yeah and honestly the way he be singing and stuff i'm like he, if you take his voice off and put it on anything he's, that's it's gonna sound the same yeah so i was i just kind of took it as you know people they like to make tiktoks they like to you know, get their little views off but like the same people confusing complaining if they play that in the club right now they're not gonna stop dancing right and then all of a sudden they're gonna make TikToks. Oh, I thought it was just a game, but I think I actually like it now. Like, yeah, because bitch, if you actually listen to it, yeah, it's not that bad. My favorite song on there is Sticky. 
Yeah, I like that song too. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Never mind. And then what's the one? Um, it kind of rem reminds me of November 18th off of So Far Gone. It's, um, it's just one of those songs later on. What is that called? Girl, I can't tell you. I don't remember. Uh, it's on the tip of my tongue. I heard a lot of people like, oh no, like uh, Jimmy Crook. Oh, okay. Or 21. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people like that. Oh, my belly man just missed my shorts, cut my damn circulation off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here to get to the best part which is shaking Tatiana Tatiana They're supposed to go to a little after party. She said they got tickets for it or whatever. But she's like, it was so windy. And then she's like, it was only going to take two minutes for Uber to get there. But like a two minute ride was going to be like an hour or two. Because there were so many people. And then she said it was so windy and so cold that they were just like, forget it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah. They do like that. I'm sorry. We strictly gangster. You ain't gang gang with it. We. Hey, 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 Shadows of the camera and stuff up there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Talk to me. I'm like, I don't know if any other people have that problem. Maybe it gets on my nerves. Oh, sorry. We strictly gang. You ain't gang, gang. Look at who you came with. And then, like, the girl, get these out of there. Oh. Mm -hmm. Six. Mm -hmm. I remember when Gucci Mane came out, and everyone was like, fuck Gucci Mane. Back on road. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I remember when this came out, I didn't have no car. Or if I, no, did I? No, I don't think I had a car. And I was walking home, and I had to walk hella far, and I was just this whole album. Mm -hmm. Gucci Mane, a nigga with a body on his dick. Myself. Yeah, keep it real, nigga. You keep it to yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm back.
back on road. No, I'm back on road, no. Back on road. Slip on me when I was all alone. They just don't expect no love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm home. K16 Al Capone. And then I throw him the money. And then I fuck up with a trump and just throw me the money. Can't eat, can't sleep, and I miss these streets. Muhammad Ali. And the streets miss me. I went to shopping, all the fucking niggas chopping for me. And went to rap, happy for me. <laughs> like I can never skip this song. <laughs> Wait, homie. Like, I know the song word for word. Back on road. I think like there's some songs I listen to like it just be making me smile. This one in songs I don't know why I like it just make me smile. Like, yeah. Like to the point where I be realizing like oh my mouth hurts. Like, <laughs> Like, I really do like music, like, I really don't really like music. Just be very careful, because it's running out of drive. I'll probably wait for us and then we go. Must be mad. Touch the ass. Not polished milky white. If I want like a real like see through ish, more like milky, milky, milky white, then I'll use um, young nails. But she had a little bit of a pink acrylic left in her soap bar that did not want to come off. But that's why I'm using this one. And if I want to use like actual like a coke white color, I'll use not polished white, straight up white. Because it's even, it's like brighter than that. That's not what we want. Waiting until that's dry, so I mean, we're just gonna. I want to rub you. Yeah. 
and I like to do this before I file because I feel like it debulks and you have a better, you're not working so hard to file. Let's loot. This is the third song that Gucci been mentioning. Mm -hmm. That's him. Shout out to him. Got a mistress. I'm so good rich. I want to say he now has his cost degree or his doctor's degree. What are you oh, yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. He graduated. A lot of people don't know that they're like really smart. Some of these are like two chains. Two chains is like to be a whole doctor if you want to. Yeah, I remember when Lil Wayne said he had went back to school because he wanted to uh, like improve his writing stuff. So he took like he got to be in like writing or whatever, you know, mm -hmm. like an English degree. Miss Sahara always want to freaking text me, blow up my phone.
I was like, oh, it's so hard. Guys, so people ask like opening a soda can with nails is damn near next to impossible. So first of all, step one, get you a can, a can of anything. All right. Step two, I know they say that nails is jewels but not tools, but honestly, sometimes nails are tools. Um, when your nails are strong enough, you can do almost whatever you want. Okay. Step three, is it step three? I don't know. But anyway, so you're gonna take your thumb and use your nail right here at the base. You see that? Right at the base. And you're going to, look, pop it up, you hear it, bam. And then if it does not all the way open, push it up. That's how you do that. That's how you do that. And that's all there is to it. Bam, sorry guys, but I had to do that. I had to do it. Okay, so my client was in the bathroom, so that's where we're at. And that's where she's at. And we're about to um, finish filing. And I'm going to give me a couple sips of Red Bull. You guys can ask anything you want. I hope you know that. I don't bite. We're going to file. Then we're going to do some nail art. This is going to be a really, really cute set, I think. So look. My nails is almost two weeks old. Again, can y'all see? I'm already going in. Like I've had these nails for a minute. Look, I did these. I did myself a fill before Fourth of July, and they're already like freaking grown out, you guys. Okay, she back. Okay. So we're about to finish off our filing and then shape them. What's the type of nail art you think you wouldn't do? You know how yesterday we looked at like the junk, like pokey? Uh huh. I couldn't do that. No, that's not me. Mm -mm. What type of nail art do you feel like you want to do? Um, I like the, like the, I don't know, I like the ones with the crosses. Uh huh. I thought that was cute. But other than that, I just stick to my regular, like, I like the 90s look uh -huh. and everything like that. Or, like, coming up with like, my own stuff. Uh huh. That's really it though. Like I'll probably try like what you have right now. Uh huh. Like just some flowers. Yeah, that's cute. It gives like gives me like tiny vibes. Yeah. Okay. Don't. 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 
I saw like cartoon character drawing. So how do you feel about it? It's cool if like you can do it or like if you're into that type of stuff. You don't think you can wear it? It depends on what it is. It really does. Like if we did like Hello, Hello Kitty. Uh huh. Like you know how we have the charms on that one set. Uh huh. Like Panda, I can do that. Or like what you did on my girlfriend the flower. Uh huh. That's nice too. She has so many compliments on that too. All right, it came out so good. I was very surprised. Yeah, she was really happy. I'm glad. She kept like doing this. I'm like, glad. I was like, yeah, it's good. Her said, like, yeah, I like this. And they still laughed along too. Mm -hmm. That's the goal. I know. I, I want to do like another one of those flowers on someone. Yeah. And I was like, dang, and it was on a manicure, too. Mm-hmm. No world tour. Uh, mm. So you can be white. Uh, I can tell. Now, don't be afraid to move your clients around because to be honest, if you don't, they're going to get cut or something. The shape not going to be right. Oh, she need help. <laughs> this one clearly got squished. Your girlfriend knows what nails you picked out? Yeah. Okay. What'd she say? She said she likes them. Like, sometimes she's like, oh, I don't like those. I'm like, uh, I'm going to go with it anyway. Right. And then when I get there, she's like, oh, I like those. I'm right, like, when you see how they're done. Yeah. I'm like, but you didn't like the one I showed you picture. Oh, um, yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Right. She's like, well, on your nails, it looks better. And I'm like, okay. I'm not gonna lie, some people like it's not all the way executed, but maybe if you take it to another nail tech, you know. Mm -hmm. Get executed. Like that that happens too. Yeah. Pregnant. Yeah. See, I said, oh my. I was wondering. 
This is about her. not gonna happen. Now, for them to be married, I don't know if that would happen. I don't know. I feel like eventually, maybe. Eventually, but I feel like they're just not in a rush. Like, they're just chilling. I think they do, yeah. Because they've broken up, gotten together. But not, like, I remember she got a face tied of him, covered it up when they broke up. Yeah. They were bound to get together. I was like, so I don't know why you keep playing. Like, you always kept saying that was your celebrity crush. <laughs> I feel like she really changed him. I feel like they probably gave each other both like. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. oh, baby. <laughs> Take that. It's like my brain and my hands don't match up. Okay. Remember like when y'all shake, you wanna keep what you have, just enhance it. So like you don't need to be going like crazy. When you file the tip, it's more of a gentle thing because you don't want this to end up down here, okay? You want to like maintain the length that you created. Road trip. Tips. Not my hip. Speculate. Like candy. Candy. We're gonna fuck around. We need to get some weapons to get all these protection. I'm just looking at all the angles, making sure everything like, you know, match up. She always make fun of me because when like, I hit someone or do something, I always like. Uh, <laughs> like it's just automatic. Yeah, because I just be like, oh, sorry. Because <laughs> I don't ever say sorry, but I always do that. I guess I'll be feeling like, you know when they say like, if you one thing hurt, pinch another body part and maybe it'll distract. I guess maybe that's my like, oh, and if I rub it, it, yeah, it'll yeah. distract. Like, they don't feel it. Like, when I see, like, when they break it down, I'm like, yeah, I know that probably hurt. <laughs> right. <laughs> I broke one of my nails, like, a couple days. Actually, damn near sometime last week. Uh -huh. And I had to just, I just glued it back. So I was like, mm, no. And I was opening the car, but, like, I kind of basically opened it with my nails. Yeah. It's like, I, I said, oh, hell no. <laughs> Shit, man. Because I was trying to carry hell with groceries. I was just doing too much. You know what? I think somebody, someone did that, like used that sound. Uh -huh. But I'm not even gonna lie, like the design she got, like 
Okay, I don't get a lot of people that make TikToks while they're here. Mm. Some people do, but mostly people don't. But it's like the design she wanted, I really didn't care for that style and nail. Mm. And then like, she just put hella filters on top, and I was just like... Oh no. Uh-uh. <sighs> I be trying to tell people like, whatever you do, please do not post my stuff with filters, because people are going to think like, it's not good. And then her hand, like, the way she was posing her hands, it was just like really bad. Oh uh, yeah, it wasn't good angle or anything. No, it was not. So, yeah, I haven't had a, a good way with that sound. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to have to tell somebody, like, girl, when you come in, use this sound. If I knew how to, like, really, really, really use TikTok, like, post, I would have done it. Because <laughs> I was like, it's cute, but, yeah. The end result was, when I looked at it, it was just, like, a lot of filters and a lot of, yeah, you had, uh-uh. There's just a lot going on. I was like, damn. I remember someone had tagged me and they made like a little collage. And then it was actually one of my regulars. I really liked her a lot. But it was a collage and mm. all the hand poses was really bad. There was like hella filters. Uh -uh. She's like, my nails here goes crazy. I was like, it don't look like it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm being I still laugh about what you told me yesterday. Well, then you just beat me to it. Girl, yes. I'm like, how are you not going to show up for the appointments and you're going to tell me have a blessed day and that I'm the scammer? Because I was going to, I was like, shit. Usually I'm always like, okay, well, let me know if you change your mind. Have a good day. Mm -hmm. No, she promptly told me to have the blessed day. <laughs> I said, well, damn. I must have looked around the room before, so I'm like, I'm like, shit, I ain't just beat me to it. Girl, one person, she had texted me for the address. Like, there was a period of time where people kept messaging me. It was like, like 10 minutes before the appointment. Let me get the address. Was it um before you had the the um, booking site that you used? No. Oh, so then nobody was paying attention now. Yes. You email, when it emails, it shows the, okay. Yeah, they just were not paying attention. And so, she's going to text me about 20 minutes before. What's the address? I'm, like, busy. And my hand's, like, you know, that last 20 minutes is, like, mm -hmm. So, I just text her back. I was, like, um, busy, check email with a heart. And so, I didn't even type it all the way out. I think I put check, like, C-H-K, and then, like, you know. Mm -hmm. So, then, one minute later, she texts, never mind. So, I'm, like, okay, cool. So, you know, she had 20 minutes to get here. Mind you, even if you're going to be late, that's still an extra 10 minutes she got. Yeah. She texted me one minute before the grace period was up and was like, obviously I'm not going to be able to make it. Uh-uh. She was like booking when she was hella weird. Like, you sent the, she said, you're going to send the email to my trash. I said, I can't send it to your trash. You have to put it to the trash. Yeah. She's like, this, that, and the other. I'm like, oh, she must have lived far. And she realized she should have been asking this about an hour ago. Mm-hmm. And she was going, like, a big paragraph, like, um, you can go ahead and keep the deposit because I won't be booking again. And I was like, I want to be like, uh, the deposit, I'm going to keep it anyway. Right. It's one it's, minute. It's not a fun to too. Right. I'm like, unless there's something that's my fault. But I'm like, uh, it's one minute until I was about to cancel your appointment anyway. So, I yes. Let's say. I was like, oh, okay. Like, the highlight says, you know, you receive it immediately upon booking. I'm sorry. That was in the trash but i don't have the authority to send it there like it has to be put to the trash mm -hmm. so i think next time um you know try and make sure you look for the um, email a day in advance she's like i've been checking all night <laughs> I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like okay well let me know if you want to rebook no i won't be rebooking thank you very much okay have a good day yep, I said, okay well you have a good day as well oh that's funny i'm like what else am i supposed to Say, like, nope. I'm saying, okay. They always want to beat you to it sometimes. That was funny. Like, dang, you just beat me to it already. Right. But I'll tell you what, I can never get exposed if my responses be <laughs> on 10. Right. I'm you making sure. Oh, I sure do. It'd be sounding as nice as possible. 
and then I show you be like, well, as my highlight says, I've been using that a million times. Mm -hmm. It's there. Everything is there. Someone gonna tell me, no, you said to call, and I've been calling. I said, nowhere on my page do it say call me if you're late, because in fact, it says let me know or message me, because if you call, you're gonna pop up as a what? Random number. Yeah, and you're not gonna answer that. Exactly. I think that's like only a black people thing. Like we don't be answering random phone numbers. I don't know how I'm right now. So. No, because I'm gonna be honest. Most of the time, it's nothing. Mm -hmm. It's just like spam. Yeah. Especially if it's coming from text free. Like I'm gonna show people like, babe, that ain't my real damn number. Mm -hmm. This is a text free app. Okay. And stop sending me pictures. Stop sending like you think. The connection on this text free number is going to be so good that I'm going to see that picture good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that nigga is all. So, oh, oh. Like, I feel like this is not a bad song, but it's also not my favorite. Mm -hmm. But. Did you see that one picture where she's like crying like on stage? Mm -mm. Yeah, like she, I don't know what um, festival she was performing at, but she was crying. Was it over and they were like, what's going on? And she's like, I'm pregnant and I'm just very emotional. Oh. Because it had to do with, of course, like London, so she's like very emotional. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, but she's pregnant by somebody else this time, huh? Right, thank you. That she absolutely loves. Oh, well, good. Good for them. I guess, like, he's been trying to get at her for the long time they were, like, in high school. Like, she was friends with him, like, cool with him, but never, like, gave him a chance. Gave him a chance. So, honestly, they're, like, made for each other. Okay. Yeah, because I'm like, I don't even know who he is. Yeah. Good for them. Yeah. Hopefully she can stop crying at concerts and being jumping for joy with whatever new songs that she's writing. Yeah. She's gonna say, I got my second baby with my second baby daddy. Mm -hmm. I don't need that nigga no more. He ain't barely even a daddy. Yeah, because <laughs> literally, he, she literally calls him like the dad of her first child already. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I get it, but I hope she know uh, they do still got a daddy. Oh, girl. Yeah. Every once in a while, you'll see the Marjorie on um, Instagram, her in London. Uh, crazy. Call me. Uh, like your friend. Ooh, I actually really like this song. Like your friend. Like, that's just the sound, yeah. That's just the sound he got with. And he's like, doing piano stuff, all, the, all of it. Mm -hmm. uh, I just saw with him and Kaylon on it. Uh, I like Kaylon. Favorite like type of nails or like a favorite color for you? Anything blue. 
because she's a crip. <laughs> but other than um, that, she likes honestly all of them. Okay. But it's like just so. I'm so used to just always getting blue. Uh huh. Because I like how blue looks on me too. Uh mm-hmm. huh. So it's like, oh yeah, she likes. I know she's gonna like this girl's blue. Yeah. You know what's funny? I'm, okay, I'm not gonna lie. This is like unrelated, but like all the girls that I have come in here, they like, well, obviously, usually it's dudes that be the crazy. But I never had a girl be like, yeah, red bandana me, please. It's always blue. It's always yeah. a crit. Always a crit, girlfriend. I've never thought about doing a bandana. Actually, you might try that. I did a blue bandana. It actually was my first attempt. It wasn't horrible, but I, I do want to get better at it. Mm-hmm. And so, did a blue bandana set on this one girl because she was going to go to like a concert in LA, to a little dirt concert. Mm-hmm. Why was she? She came back. I guess she broke a nail while she was out there, you know, <laughs> doing the things. Mm-hmm. And yeah, a couple days later, when she came back, she have a, a ring right here. I'm like, how'd you get that? She's like, oh yeah, my boyfriend proposed. Aww. And the proposal was in a ring box that was within a blue, blue bandana. bandana. Aww. I was like, that is just so ghetto. It's so cute. You like, like the ghetto shit. Uh, listen, absolutely love the ghetto thing. Absolutely. And y'all don't care who or what or why. You need to hear it. Buff your nails. Because look at all this stuff that get trapped. Sometimes if you don't buff, and I know I use curve tips, so it's gonna happen regardless. But people who use like C curve tips and almost like the tubular tips, I know y'all get stuff stuck under. So switch sides. Yeah, we gotta have to do that one day. What you did, child? How dry you been? But well, where I work out, I, I wash my hands a lot. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah, you got your skin built back. Scissors over there. Oh, you need to add some oil into this good lotion. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. Okay, you guys, we're gonna paint on some cherries in a sec. This side. So for those wondering what this is, it's just like the nail tip from like filing, when you file the shape and stuff. She was so dry while I was buffing her, she started bleeding. I oh said, No, the buffer is soft. I was like, So all that nail filing didn't bother me. Dang. Right? I was like, It's the buffer that did it. She's like, I'm so dry. I was like, Yeah, you need to, you need to do something about that, Miss Mama. <laughs> Vaseline up after your shower or something. To the best of us. So buffing just makes the surface smooth, you guys. So when you put on top coat and stuff, it's not gonna be no extra um what's that called? No like deep scratches or anything. Especially for those of you who like you don't um you don't Call it like top coat before you do nail art. This is my mom's <laughs> Fun. 
Sorry, what a row we will So you can see, well, I don't know if y'all know, but the color of like these little stuff that I'm cutting, like that's how I can tell this is dead skin and not live. Meaning like if I cut it, she's not going to be bleeding all over the place. <laughs> but at the same point, you do kind of have to like leave it be because otherwise, because like she's so dry, it's just going to keep peeling back and back and back. But I just want the majority out of there. So we don't continue to like catch on everything. Which is why I don't use nippers because nippers are so doggone sharp. You might accidentally cut live skin and they're going to be bleeding. You don't want that. So you can see it's already in the healing process. That's why you can see like she have good healthy skin underneath. So eventually it's all going to just flake off and, you know, be nothing. But for now, we're just trying to get rid of some. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm just taking some video. I don't want to go sideways. God damn. And I'm gonna go pee. And y'all win. I tell you, we're about to hook up this chair. Ow, damn, that hurt. Okay, well, that's the thing. And mind you, I just wanna let y'all know them scissors, they need to be clean and like properly disinfected before I use them on this one again. I use scissors to cut my tips, which is fine. I can reuse them without having to like clean every single little time because they're not on the skin. But once I use them on some of the skin, that's contaminated. You see what I'm saying? And we don't want that. We don't like that.
on tight, okay? Okay. Go about two. I'm gonna polish first. Everyone always asks about my top coat. This is what I use. Like literally, when I be telling y'all, I don't use nothing special. I use whatever I find at the beauty supply. I try something. I mean the nail spot. I'll try something and if I like it, I like it. Okay. Matter of fact, before I do this, which nails do you know for a fact you want nail art? Um, on my ring finger and on my index finger. Okay. Cool. And on the other ones, do you want any type of nail art at all? Um, yeah, if we can do nail art and then like some gems on the ones that don't have the most nail art. Okay. Is there like a certain type of nail art you you want or you want me to just kind of do something that go? Do something that go. Okay. Okay, so we're going to make this look very nice and ghetto. That's what I like to see. <laughs> like, she's so easy, though. She's easy. Because I'm like, I'm going to let you do what you're good at. I'm not about to tell you, like, oh, yeah, like, do this. No. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I hate, like, seeing, like, stories about, like, clients that do that. It's probably, like, then just do your nails your own self. You know, I think it's really because of, like, the people that you attract. I, like, if you post a lot of, like, hey i recreate this then other all the time or if your clients always have to, you know because some people they require you to bring a picture mm -hmm. or like send the picture beforehand which i don't even know how people keep track or what they do with it but yeah i just like to just you could just show up who like i just need to know you want one color set or you want stuff <laughs> Side by side. Yeah. So normally, like for nails that have bling, I'm not gonna top coat, but because we're doing a little bit of nail art on off, I'm gonna top coat. And then with the bling, we'll go ahead and file away certain areas for that. But like, woo, stop. This is just so it's been a minute since there's been any pure white sets mm -hmm. on page, so you get definitely get a couple of picks. On the CD for this, there's a little extra. It goes, my love, my love, my love. It's like a little extra song. Uh huh. And that shit used to go crazy. But they really love it. They see when you touch the cuticles, like you see how close the acrylic is. Like, baby, she's good at these. Don't even play. Mm -hmm. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. I'm just doing. Like even just this is like fine. Like, just nails, period. Like this is like what I like to do. Right here. Like look at the transformation. classy and ghetto at the same time. Yeah. Yes. I like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, she's more on the classy side. She's like, yes, I don't really want. Especially when I get like short nails. Mm-hmm. So those are so pretty. Those are so nice. So she just associated long with like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's kind of funny. And like that's all she used to wear like back in the day too. I bet it is. That with the French tip, you know, had her in a chokehold. Right. Okay. So while that hand is giant, I'm, we're going to snap some videos of this. Because y'all already know I'm the content queen.
gonna hope that's gonna help us out. Since Bucks could have had a little job. this brand is to be honest I just got a pack of my nail supply they had like 10 colors mm -hmm. it's like $70 I got it on sale for like 40 or something but it does the job yeah and then of course we need some white oh well I mean we did not need that much white but. So he said these two, I just do a bad job with picking this up. Okay, so these are where you want the actual like cherry cherries. Yeah. You want large ones? Yeah. Okay. You know, make it like that, like 90 you know, cherry you want. And that's why people gonna call me Miss Cherry at this point. All right. Okay, so when you do nail art, you guys, there, like sometimes I'll look at a picture, but honestly, it ain't no better way than to just do it honestly and if it looked bad then it looked bad and you can start over so cherry you want to make sure it's nice and round baby that's the thing and we're going to be outlining them in black because duh oh you see why this is my favorite red that's pretty it's like literally the perfect red for everything. Oh, this is gonna be so ghetto. Stop. And depending on my mood, sometimes I'll like extend nail art onto the side. We're gonna do it today because we want this to look as round as possible. not already look like something. Okay. I'm going to stick that in for a couple seconds. So I would say like flash carry stuff because if you really like something, you don't want like anything else to overlap. You can hand it back. So I'll always just do like five to 10 seconds. Usually five seconds is, is good. So that way you can continue drying and honestly, everything will still dry nicely. 